In Biloxi right now, overgrowth at the city cemetery. You may have seen pictures on social media showing overgrown grass and calling on the city to do something about it. Noah Noble has been looking into the issue and getting answers from the city. He joins us live with what he's learned. Noah. When a place as reverent as a cemetery, the last thing that grieving families want to see are weeds higher than the gravestones, marking the spot where their loved ones are buried. Those calling for action telling me it's never been this bad, and they want to know why now and when will this get fixed. This is sad. It really and truly is sad. I thought maybe we'd hear some mowers going out here today, but nothing. Had you ever seen it get to this level of? Never this bad. It's been overgrown before, but I think this far exceeds overgrown. Anita Della Husey Boney stands next to a series of plots where some of the most important people in her life are laid to rest. This whole plot right here is for my family and unfortunately my husband passed away way too young. Mm. He was 64 and we were out here yesterday to put the headstone in place and the friends and family that were with me just shared my frustration over the disgust and how bad it looks mm. for our beloved dead. She made this post on Facebook a week ago and just Wednesday someone else voiced their concerns. The comment sections filled with people agreeing, calling it sad, disgraceful, awful, pitiful. So what is the city of Biloxi saying about this? The city blames summertime growth and a shortage of public work staff. They in the past have had a full staff of 42 employees so they can maintain the grass a lot better throughout the city and even in the cemetery. They're now down at 22. Mm -hmm. It is the summertime. They've gone out and cut sections. They've got pulled away to work on something else, maybe barricades or something for an event. Mm -hmm. And then they come back and the grass has grown up again. But this isn't a new issue. And Biloxi City Council members have asked about contracting grass cutters in the past. There's been talks about possibly contracting it out to a private company? Is that where y'all are at right now? Or? Well, that's what we're doing for just the sm small staff to come in and maintain the cemeteries. Now that contract is only for a one-time clear cut of the cemetery, but the city doesn't have an exact date on when that will happen, and it's not a permanent solution, something that Anita Boney and others are looking for. Live in Biloxi, I'm Noah Noble for WLOX News Now.